Here's my PlayStation 5, and today I'll be installing the Seagate Gaming 4 terabyte Fire CUDA 530. This is so that I don't have to keep deleting older PlayStation 5 games whenever I buy a new one. Stay tuned. First, you want to remove the PlayStation cover. You only have to do this side. So next, you're going to want to get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the one screw for this faceplate. And then you want to remove this faceplate. Just be careful you don't break it. If you have a flathead screwdriver, you could use that. I just decided to use my fingers, but you want to be careful not to break this. So here I'm using a small screwdriver and I'm also using pliers to help loosen the screw because it was really tight. I didn't want to just use the screwdriver and potentially strip the screw. So don't lose the screw and don't lose the washer that the screw is also connected to. So next you're gonna install the drive into the PlayStation 5. You need to make sure that you insert it all the way. Next, you're gonna move the washer and this and the screw is what's gonna hold this drive in place within your PlayStation 5. Now we need to tighten the screw to hold the drive within your PlayStation 5. Next is to put the faceplate back on and also the screw to keep it there in place. Next, put back your PlayStation 5 cover. When you turn your PlayStation 5 back on, it's going to say format this M2 SSD or not. So you want to format it. When you do, this screen will pop up. Next, I'll go to settings, then storage, and you can see my console storage. It's not all the way full because I deleted a couple of games. My M2 SSD storage is empty, so I'm going to go ahead and move all my PS4 and PS5 games to it, so that way my console can be freed up. Also, I'm going to have my installation location PS4 and PS5 games onto my M2 SSD storage from now on. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button.